Good morning and welcome to this episode of The Daily Light featuring... Angel John Lopez. Yes! So, I wanted to take it outside today. It's a gorgeous day, so why not? And then, you know, let Chip Chip play outside for a little bit. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about today's gospel reading. It comes to us from the book of John, in which Jesus heals a blind man. And mommy doesn't watch now. <laughs> in which Jesus heals a blind man. And, you know, what stuck out to me is that Jesus heals a lot of blind people in the gospel. In this case, Jesus calls him over to him, asks him what he wants, and then tells him, pretty much, your faith has saved you. And the man walked away with his sight restored. But there's another case that I remember in the gospel in which a blind and man... My, and my teacher told me that Jesus can walk on water. Yes, like in this pool. Do you think Jesus can walk in this pool? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so there's another case in the gospel in which a blind man comes to Jesus. And what Jesus does instead, <coughs> God bless you, God bless you, is that he picks, God bless you, those allergies, huh? The Jesus picks up some dirt, he spits in it, and he makes kind of like a paste with it. And he covers the man's eyes and then sends the man off into water to wash it off. And that restores his sight once the man washes it off. So what's the difference? Why did Jesus have the different styles with different people? In every case he healed them, in every case it was the person's faith that made the miracle happen. But the difference is that God, Jesus knows us. God knows us. He knows what we need. Some of us need to be touched in order to feel love, in order to be able to experience the faith. Do you like when mommy gives you huggies? Uh-huh. And in other cases, people just need to hear it. People need the verbal validation in their lives. So I want you to think about this because Jesus is the ultimate example. Jesus is the ultimate teacher, the ultimate leader. Look at that. You know, he treated different people differently. At the end, he was still leading. At the end, he was still providing salvation. But he knew what would, what would resonate with people. If someone needed to be touched, he provided that. If someone needed words of affirmation, he provided that. So today as co-workers, today as spouses, today as parents with your children, you can't treat everybody the same way because not everyone responds to it. Like Adrian here loves to be touched and hugged and kissed. Whereas my older son, he just wants me to like give him freedom and you know be there for him whenever he needs me. And that's how I love him the best. And this is how I love Adrian the best. So get to know the people in your lives and so that you can know how to heal them, how to provide for them, how to be there for them in a way that's significant to them. You know, because it's not about us. It's about other people. Right, Chubbs? Yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye and have a blessed day. Can you say God bless you to everybody? God bless you, everybody. <laughs>